So if you're convinced you want to homeschool, what do you do? Amy, where do I even start? Well, first on Amazon under basic skills curriculum, um, you can go in there and just buy it. It's printed off. Buy this book and sit down and do the pages for your high school. Why do you need to do all the pre-algebra classes and all the things they do? No, just get these books. This is what's going to pass their test. This is what they're going to do. What? I know. Do you need to take four years in math? No, you can take one. No. Don't believe me? Go look it up. Well, I also had to test them, but, and that freaked me out for a minute, and then I realized, oh, that really doesn't matter because you give them the test. They'll, they might make you think that you have to have a place for your kids to test. Don't fall into that trap either. Some will just let you take the test yourself. Take the test and then you file it away in your folders. Some people don't even open the test results and they just put it away because it doesn't really matter. And so take the test, do your best, put it away and don't even look at it. That's what you can do. Or These are guidelines for you. It's not what you have to do. So pay attention to that. Most of the states, it's what you as the parent decide that they need for graduation requirements. You because most kids graduate high school and have no idea how to focus and function in real life. So don't believe me, go look it up. I know I went to college, I graduated with high honors, and so I understand all the, the math and the English that I give to my children. And there, trust me, I've been homeschooling for 20, 20 years, 22 years, 20, how many years have we been doing homeschooling? I don't even know, but it's been a long time, 20 years. Let's say at least 20 years, right, because 25 minutes. Okay, I had to think of my numbers here. I'm supposed to be a teacher. <laughs> doing it for a long time. Let me share you for you new homeschoolers out there. I know right now everything is different and I'm like, oh, last thing I want to do is school. So it's one of those things, it's like we've kind of like pushed off, pushed off and pushed off schooling until like October and you know what? It works. And then my kids learn to like work either quicker through this. I get a younger grade than what my child is actually in. So, and especially if they're struggling with something. So if I have something, someone that's struggling with something, I might even go two grades younger. So what I'll do is I'll get that book and then I can learn it all in one year. There's a shocker for you. If you did one class in fifth grade and never did book work ever in your kid's life, they will catch up with everything they need to know. Don't believe me? Go look it up. Miss She will be doing um, sixth grade. Her math pages, her um, English, and it's got a, um, a speed test as well. The next part I have is for spelling. There is a bagels, poor boy subs, a ciabatta rolls, or I think they're called ciabatta. What is it for Simeon? I think it's called, is it called ch chorizo? C-H-O-R-I-Z-Z-O, chorizo. I apologize, I need to look this up before. A lot of my people, and I don't even know where they're from, they make it col kohlrabi, kohlrabi, how do you say that, kohlrabi? It was the rice cauliflower stuff, but the other one, kohlrabi, because I'm never gonna eat that. It was just crazy, I was doing school with the kids, and the little ones are learning to read, and I was losing my patience because they're just learning reading, and so I wasn't taking the time that I needed to, and I. My recommendation be that you, if your child needs more work, to provide them with some extra problems. Remember that you are in control of your child's education. Go see what the rules and the laws are for your state, because everyone's different. Everybody will have different things. You might have to do certain things, but there's ways around everything. There's ways around everything, and you should be able to pick what your child is learning and how they learn things. And don't let somebody say that you have to do this for them to succeed in life. No. Most people that go to school, and these are all tests and studies done, when kids go to school, they've never had a home at course. They don't know how to make their own food. They don't know how to even like function and do things in life. Don't believe me? Go look it up. Life skills, that's what you need to function as a human being in this world, right? It's not so much if you know trigonometry, if you know how to write cursive or whether you don't. Because if your child's going to go to college, that first year of college will teach them everything that you have missed as a parent. Trust me, they might have to work a little bit hard, but they'll want to learn it. But if they get a job, their job is going to train them for whatever they need in this world. So remember that. Don't let that scare you. Don't let don't believe me? Go look it up. All right. I hope you enjoyed this video and for today's topic about homeschooling and how you can jump right into it and get started. So leave any questions. If there's extra questions and things maybe I missed because I'm talking about things that I think are important, but if there's some more questions, leave them below in the comments and I'll do another one of these if you have some more information.